If we choose, we can stay in that seated pose, just using this easy seat to relax and soothe, grounding the mind and body. Our tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice, that nice long spine gives us control of our bodies. With our heart chakra open, our chin slightly up. We can slightly gaze our eyes down or close our eyes if that feels good for us. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Three breaths of silence. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms are together. Interlacing those fingers with their pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Keeping that heart chakra lifted, chin slightly up. Feeling that slight back bend as we allow our arms to slightly flow to the back of the room. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, separating those palms. We are now in that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated, extended mountain. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, twist the body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We can option to breathe that left hand to that right knee, coming deeper in that twist. Still in that spinal cord, decompress and soothe. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. In that star, our palms are slightly out towards the side. Taking a moment to notice the difference between that seated salute, seated mountain, and star pose. As we twist the body towards the left, palms come down towards the earth. We're going to gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that spinal cord twist and relax. Allowing the eyes to slightly flutter downward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Seated extended mountain. Coming to that salute, palms together. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale down to prayer, palms come heart center, seated prayer. As we relax those shoulders down with away from the ears, being mindful to relax those shoulders down as we often hold tension in our shoulders and our neck. Relaxing those shoulders down helps ease, relax, and soothe. Two more breaths. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, maybe crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees if that feels good. Knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to drop that body down to that cop. Feeling this here in our lumbar spine, chin is slightly up. Noticing how this cat pose feels in the lower back. We can option to rotate our hips muscles here and noticing how that feels here in our lumbar spine. Just relaxing and soothing, working on loosening up your spinal cord. You can option to roll your head and neck into this position as well. Allowing that whole body, the entire spinal cord, cervical spine to relax. Optioning to pause and switch circular rotations if that feels good. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to cow. Dropping that tummy down, chin is up. Low into our cat. Spinal cord flows up in the heavens. Chin comes to clavicle. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Hmm. Coming back to center, we are at our tabletop pose. We're going to breathe that right foot to that right arm. And we're going to lean that body forward coming into that runner's lunge. But we're going to lean the body forward this time. As opposed to being up, we're going to lean, feel that there. This here is working um, our split. So we're leaning that body forward, kind of like we're coming into a lizard pose. A lizard pose, we're down like this. This is lizard, but we're not going to do that here today. We're just going to come into this runner's lunge. This also is a runner's lunge. 
Just noticing how this feels here in the hip flexors. And we're gonna work on a half split. We're gonna allow our buttocks to come backwards towards our heels. We're gonna straighten that front thigh, that front leg. Now we're in that half split. Noticing how this feels. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts downward towards that knee, feeling that nice deep stretch. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward, completely relaxing the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bending that knee back forward, coming up to that runner's lunge. We're going to untuck that toe. Untucking that toe. Using that toes, those toes to lift that knee off the earth. We are now in kind of a low lunge. And we're going to straighten that front leg. Now we're in that pyramid. Feeling that stretch now behind our knees and our hamstrings. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts down. Allowing those shoulders to completely melt forward. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling this stretch for two more breaths. Exhale, bending that right knee. We're back in And that low lunge. We're going to drop that left knee. We are back down to that. Runner's lunge. We're going to flow back to our tabletop. We're going to drop back down to that cow. We're going to flow to that cat. Coming back to that table pose. As we breathe, that left leg forward, coming up to that runner's lunge, opposite side. We're not going to be up in that runner's lunge. We're going to allow that body to hinge forward, feeling that hinge forward. Palms flat on the earth, runner's lunge like we're ready to take off. Feeling that stretch here behind our legs and our thighs. Two more breaths, allowing the body to relax. Exhale, coming up, we're going to breathe our buttocks to our heel. We're going to straighten that left leg, coming into that half, half split. Just allowing the body to relax and soothe. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head comes down towards that knee. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward. Eyes slightly gaze down, three breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale back forward. We're going to untuck that toe. We're going to lift that right knee off the earth. Low uh, lunge. We're going to straighten that left leg coming into that pyramid. Feeling that stretch behind the legs and the thighs. Allowing that torso to relax down, head melts downward towards the knees. Mm -hmm. Pyramid pose allows us to stretch and lengthen the muscles behind our legs. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, bend the net, left knee, coming back into low lunge. In this low lunge, we're going to hold this pose just for a second. We're going to breathe this leg back, coming into that down dog. Yes. Now we're transitioning into our standing poses here. Gazing back at our feet here in our down dog. Feeling that nice deep stretch. Tummies are nice and tight. We can option to pedal our feet left and right if that feels good. Mm. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause. We're going to shift our weight forward. High plank. Tummies are nice and tight. High plank. We are building strength in our arms, in our shoulders. Two more breaths. Exhale, back down dog. We're going to walk our feet to our hands. Complete forward fold. Allowing that body to relax over those thighs. We are feeling this full body stretch here in this complete forward fold. Rounding our backs if that feels good. Coming nice and deep in this stretch. Just feeling that back. Feeling that body. Relax. We're flowing downwards like a rag doll. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, gazing forward, backs are straight. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. 
As we exhale back down to complete forward fold, this time we're going to flow into a rag doll, hugging, connecting our hands to our elbows. Feeling that body completely relaxed, allowing the shoulders to melt downward towards the earth. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Noticing how this full body stretch feels in the body, optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. Noticing how that feels behind the legs and the hamstrings. This is a completely relaxing pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, hair forward fold, gaze forward, backs are straight, tummies are tight. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. We are standing strong, standing tall. Our feet are connected, they are grounded to the earth. Palms are at our side, palms facing forward, if that feels good. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. That heart chakra is open, meaning that chest is lifted. That chin is up, feeling nice and strong. We are standing nice and strong, like queens and kings, just standing strong. Chin up, that chest is lifted. Working on that alignment here. Feeling a pose, taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Flowing the palms above our heads, coming into that standing salute. Palms are together, interlacing those fingers, pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing those shoulders, the arms to melt slightly towards the back. This here is a slight back bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Coming back to that salute. Palms together. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, standing prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Keeping our palms at heart center, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. Coming into that prayer hands, half forward fold. Backs are straight, gaze forward. Noticing how that feels behind your legs and your hamstrings. Two more breaths. We're gonna bend those knees, coming into a chair pose. We are in our prayer chair, or we can come into an extended chair by breathing our palms in front of us. Whatever feels good for you, chair pose, three breaths. Two breaths. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. As we exhale, twisting our bodies towards the right, chair pose twist. Two more breaths. And exhale back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. As we flow into a complete forward fold, allowing the body to relax and soothe. This here is the counter pose to what we just did, allowing us to soothe and relax those knees. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Walking our hands forward, breathing our feet to the back, down dog. Dropping to our knees, keeping that buttocks in the air, puppy pose. But axis high in the air, chest, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. That forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Feeling that heart connect to the earth. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Shoulder blades are melted forward as our bodies completely relax and soothe. Eight breaths, silent meditation. Four more breaths.
two breaths. Coming up to our forearms. We're gonna straighten our legs, coming into a Sphinx pose. Legs are straight behind us. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not connected to our ears, not sunken. Have a control of that body and not allowing our body to sunk. Have a control of that body here in our space pose. We're going to gaze at our computer screen, thanking ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice teaching training here today. Boy, I'm grateful for everything that you all shared with the group here today. I'm grateful for the practice that was given to us today. Thankful for you guys sharing what, which parts of the course you are in for it is truly grateful just to just come together, sit and discuss and see where we are, helping one another learn and grow. That is what teaching training sessions are all about. Many different topics. I'm grateful for you all. The light in me sees and respects the light in you. Namaste.